Welcome to the second session of the May 2021 IEARN Virtual Project Exhibition. We are thrilled to see so many people here from all around the world today. This event will showcase the inspiring project work and outcomes achieved by IEARN classrooms around the world. Today, you will hear directly from educators and youth about their IEARN project work and final products. Before we begin, Let's go over a quick review of some of the features in the Zoom webinar space so all attendees can navigate and participate seamlessly. When typing a comment or question in the chat box, as you know, please send it to all panelists and attendees. We encourage lots of lively discussion in the chat box throughout the webinar. Please go ahead and introduce yourself and share in the chat box where you are joining from, if you haven't already. And please type in your questions and comments. We will try our best to address all questions as we go along. Also, please note that we are very happy that this is also being presented on Facebook Live. For those of you joining us through Facebook Live, feel free to add your comments and questions there as well. Also, you are welcome to share about the event on social media channels using the hashtags, hashtag VP2021, hashtag IEARN, and hashtag IEARNUSA, as you will see in the chat box. We are recording this webinar and will be sharing it in a follow-up email to all of you. However, feel free to also visit our website, YouTube, or Facebook page to watch it again. Hello, I'm Yusuf Razak, Program Coordinator at IRN USA. And today I'm joined by my colleagues, my colleagues, Nicole Weitzner, who's effortlessly assisting with the microphones and cameras, Ali Megan, who's diligently working on the chat box answering questions, and of course, Connie Rensink, who's exuberantly managing our Facebook Live page. They are behind the scenes and are working hard to put the virtual project exhibition together. So thank you all for joining us today. Um, and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. For those of you new to IEARN, I'd love to explain briefly about the work that we do. The International Education and Resource Network, IEARN, is the world's largest K through 12 educational network that enables schools, teachers, and students to connect online and collaborate on projects that connect classroom learning with real world issues. IRON was established in 1988 as a pilot project between 12 schools in New York and 12 schools in Moscow during the height of the Cold War. In the first collaborative project, students worked both in English and Russian on curriculum-based projects designed by participating teachers. They use the technologies available at the time, of course, before the internet, to communicate with one another and build friendships. Our international network has grown exponentially since 1988, as has our ability to connect online and collaborate. Last project year, we connected around over 2,700 teachers and almost 70,000 students from over 115 countries in global projects. There are nearly 100 projects at IEARN, all designed and facilitated by teachers and students to fit their curriculum and classroom needs and schedules. IEARN projects are interdisciplinary and connect learners across different age groups, primarily K through 12, and different subject areas, including creative and language arts, social sciences, and STEM. Participants select an online project and look at how they can integrate it into their classroom. Teachers and students connect with their global peers and online forum spaces to meet one another and collaborate on projects. In addition to connecting students, learning with local issues and meeting specific curriculum needs, every project proposed by teachers and students in IRN has to answer the question, how will this project improve the quality of life on the planet? This vision and purpose is the glue that holds iron together 
enabling participants to become global citizens who make a difference by collaborating with their peers around the world. In 2015, IEARN mobilized its global network to ensure that each IEARN project aligned with at least one of the world's new 17 Sustainable Development Goals, or as we call it, SDGs, a set of targets relating to future international development. Through collective learning and action, youth are making a difference through IEARN, projects that meet the global SDGs, such as ending poverty, protecting the planet, and ensuring prosperity for all. We are excited to showcase four different IEARN projects during today's exhibition. We start off with Learning Circles, Places and Perspectives, presented from Pakistan, Gold or Global Ownership of Learning and Development, presented a collaboration from Turkey and the United States, My School, Your School, also a joint collaboration from Turkey and the United States, and of course, to close off, Girl Rising. With Girl Rising, we have our special guests guests joining us today to serve as your host and introduce each of the presentations. I'd like to welcome Marzea Abidi and her students, Aida and Masa, and possibly Miriam from Farzanagan 7 High School in Tehran, Iran. I will now hand it over to Aida to kick off our event. Today I'm glad to introduce the first presentation and the places and perspective learning circle is to explore the regional history, cultural governments, and geographical of the countries by sharing knowledge with different people from different locations. Next slide, please. Uh, today we'll be hearing from Ms. Fahim and her students from Pakistan. Uh, Ms. Fahim has been an IEARN for 10 years and teaches grade four to nine. Next slide, please. Hello world, assalamu alaikum. This is Naila Fahim from Pakistan. This is the second time me and my students are representing from Aha School Garden, Karachi for the Learning <laughs> Circle project. During January 2021, we have presented the Five Week Learning Circle My Hero project. This time we have taken a step forward for the 16 week learning circle places and perspectives. Iron Global Learning Circles are highly interactive project-based partnerships among students and educators of different schools located throughout the world. The result is authentic students' work and true international collaboration. Place and Perspective exposes students to global collaboration, build cultural understanding, communication skills, creativity, knowledge, and awareness of the wider world. Through this learning project, we have collaborated to seven different countries and we have attended three international Zoom meetings where we have shared information about food, sports, fiction, and communities. The virtual tours of different cities of the world was the real life long learning skill for my students. I'm equally thankful to my project facilitator for being so helpful throughout the project and for support and encouragement. Here I am handing over Alishba Ejaz Ali. She would brief you about the international Zoom meetings with that we have attended during the project. Alishba, over to you. Okay, so hello everyone. This is me, Alishba Ejaz from our friend school, Garden Karachi, Pakistan. So today I am here in front of you, with you all and uh, just to introduce my country, present my country, and to interact with you all while executing and building up my project learning circle. At first, we started the collaboration at the international stage on Zoom and started attending Zoom meetings. The first international meeting was on 16th of February 2021 among Pakistan and Egypt. And the main agenda of the meeting was to introduce our countries. Egyptian people introduced their country, and we introduced our country, Pakistan, to them. We were based to see their wonderful presentation. At last, we exchanged our thoughts, and we just participated and collaborated with each other with a great bundle of ideas and a great bundle of thoughts, having loads and loads of information and a creative mind. After that, we started and we gone to a second meeting time, and which was held on 6th of May 2021. The main agenda was 
introduction of Egyptian sports with exchange of loads and loads of information among different students from Egypt, Ukraine, and Pakistan, and a great interaction between us. It was really tremendous and fantastic to know about their sports and sharing, sharing our sports with them. It was filled with enthusiasm and joy. Next slide, please. Okay. So moving forward, we took our third collaboration and attended third international Zoom meeting, which was among Egypt, Ukraine, and Pakistan. The main agenda of this meeting was based on animals in fiction with Ukrainian students. Moving forward, we reciprocated our ideas and learned a lot from each other on the exchange. Not only they, but we also participated and we shared most of the books like uh, which were having the content of animals in fiction. It was really a new thing and a great topic of this. Our ideas, thoughts, and viewpoints. We were settled in the group and we just talked to each other, understanding their viewpoints and they understanding our viewpoints. Videos of this project had already been uploaded on YouTube. I was really delighted and pleasing that it was a great experience and it was a great opportunity to me for participating in this. Now I would hand over to Raveen, my fellow, to continue. Hello everyone, I am Raveen Ajaz from Aga Khan School Garden, Karachi, Pakistan. I will be covering other half of this project. Today, I will talk about final product and publication. For the final products, we were given two options, virtual tour to Karachi and geographical features of Pakistan. Most of the students opted for virtual tour to Karachi. We, ex we executed our product in form of PowerPoint presentations and PDF files. Inside the slides, we included introduction of our city, famous sites to visit, as well as status of entertainment, art, and culture. We also added economy of our city and social issues. Our presentations were liked by fellow countries. On contrary, we received pleasing comments and remarks from international facilitators. Next slide, please. Moving forward to final publications, we responded to Moldova on traditional games and we responded to Indonesia, again Moldova, on travel in my community. Both the publications were executed in form of PowerPoint presentations. For travel in my community, we included Karachi, Pakistan, Kishina, Moldova, Subang, Indonesia. Karachi, the city which was once the capital of Pakistan, is a really famous city of Asia and serves as the main commercial hub for Pakistan. Famous sites of Karachi include Janaz Mausoleum and Seaview. Kishinev is the capital of Moldova. It serves as the main industrial and commercial center of Moldova. Famous locations include Stephen Great Central Park and National Museum of History of Moldova. Last city of this publication is Subang, Indonesia. Subang is a town in West Java and is known for its natural spots, varying from mountains to rivers. Attraction spots in Subang include Ratu Queen Crater and Sayator Hot Spring. While making presentation on traditional games, we came across a game, Lion Grandmother, which was really similar to our game. Next slide, please. After working on this project, I have seen massive development in my 21st century lifelong skills, which are critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, cross-cultural understanding, communication, and competing. I consider myself a much more skillful and proficient person. Thank you. Thank you, and Shukriyan to Ms. Fahidi and her students for the inspiring presentation. Next slide, please. Uh, I will now hand it to my friend uh, to introduce the next presentation. Hello, I'm Katya Bozdan, a project coordinator of Ari Private Schools, and I'm thankful to have this opportunity to present our project together with our project partner, Ms. Melanie Ranson. Hello, I'm Melanie Ranson, joining you from Appomattox County Schools in Virginia. Uh, many thanks to IEARN and Katya for this great opportunity. Next slide, please. The IB project and virtual collaboration is a part of the GOLD project, which is uh, officially registered on the IR network. Next slide, please. We were happy to collaborate with Appomattox Elementary and Primary Schools located in Virginia, USA. 
Uh, together with Kasari International School from Noida, India, which resulted in rich learning experiences. Next slide, please. We all know that it has been a challenge to very young learners and students all around the world to learn, have fun, and enjoy the moments of childhood since the pandemic started. And as educators of gold, we could not but witness the urgent need to raise public awareness about children's rights. And despite the pandemic conditions in which movement and physical activities are restricted, the IB project applications have been successfully implemented by all the three schools. Next slide, please. Students in our partner schools started their first school year online. Some of them had never been in their school buildings, seen their classmates on the playground or the teacher. That was the reality of this school year during the pandemic. One of my students, John, will come and talk to us about his thoughts. Hi, my name is John. It was a different school year this year. We had to be careful to practice social distancing and wear masks. Our playtime was different and limited because we couldn't share equipment. Thank you, John. Next slide, please. The first Zoom collaborative meeting helped us to agree on the goals and project applications to be implemented. We agreed that the foreign language, art, and music departments should collaborate to provide active engagement for the students. Next slide, please. By piloting the IB collaboration, we agreed to promote students' active engagement in creative art activities, to raise students' awareness about children's rights in compliance with the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, and to boost students' creativity and innovation, collaborating virtually. Next slide, please. Classroom observations prove the fact that children spend long hours in virtual classrooms, and they were exempt from playing outside, having fun with their classmates, which actually were their rights. Next slide, please. At our lessons, we told them that they have uh, the right to uh, life, to grow, to meet their friends, to relax, to play, unless they're safe and unharmed. As long as we remember that images play a vital role in students' perceptions of the, the reality and children uh, love drawing uh, before they acquire literacy skills of reading and writing, we decided that so we asked the students in all three partner schools to draw their rights. And these are the wonderful creations of our students. Next slide, please. Today, I will ask Bella to come share her thoughts with us. Next slide, please. Hi, my name's Bella. Um, I felt so proud to see my drawing and exhibition. I think that this project helped us feel that we are not alone during the pandemic. Thank you, Bella. Our music department created the wonderful song, The World is Small, which was late published in the online International Kids magazine in January. Some of our students there with us today, while others, they send out video messages with their opinions about the project. So let's watch the video. It was cool to see all the drawings from kids in other countries. I found the at I love my rights. This project was fun working with people all around the world. I felt proud to see my drawings in the exhibition. I loved doing the art. I sang songs. It was fun. I thought it was really fun drawing pictures. We met our friends in the video. The whole process was amazing. I want to do more projects. Thanks to my teachers and my parents. This exhibition was an opportunity to showcase the artwork of children from Turkey, the USA, and India as active spokesmen of children's rights who wanted to make their voices heard in times of pandemic. The virtual exhibition of children's artwork shown here and the upcoming clip of the song, The World is Small, are the mutual products of our students, whose efforts and talents are the best inspiration for all of us. I will now ask Elizabeth to share her thoughts with us. Hello, my name is Elizabeth. Me and my school friends joined a big international clip. It was fun singing songs with friends from Turkey and India. I felt very excited and happy. Thank you, Elizabeth. Next slide, please. 
Technology made it possible to share their amazing artwork of our students with broader audiences. And today we're happy to share the link with you. We would like to say a very big thank you to all the students, amazing teachers and supportive families for their great work, without whom this collaboration would have never been possible. So let's watch the final, the world is small video clip. Thank you. So here's my hand and I'm your friend and we will walk together smile and play forever. This is my job, my good, my job. I am in your eyes and I'm just for less and we can learn together, share and play forever. Uh, actually, thank you to Ms. Plastigan and Ms. Ronson and Ms. Ronson's students for such a truly inspiring presentation. Thank you, it was so amazing. Actually, now I will hand it to my classmate, Ida, to uh, introduce the next presentation. Thank you, Nasa. Hello again. To, um, now I'm glad to introduce the next presentation. This project's name is My School, Your School. And this project is students change information about their schools, including such topics as school celebrations, the sports, food, and subjects. Next slide. I'm delighted to introduce um, Ms. Red Line, a teacher from the United States, and Mr. Kubas, a teacher from Turkey. Uh, Ms. Red Line has been in IN for three years and teaches grades 9 to 12. Mr. Kubas has been in IN for one year and teaches grade 9. I will now hand it to Ms. Red Line and Mr. Kubas and their students. Good morning and welcome from Parkland High School in Allentown, Pennsylvania. I'm Mary Redline and it was my great privilege to work with Mr. Kofa from Turkey and his wonderful students. Uh, it's been a really amazing experience and uh, such an honor to be recognized for the work that our wonderful students have done. So I turn it over to Mr. Kofatz, and then we'll turn it over to Zach. So uh, greetings from Turkey and hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ertin Kotbaş and I'm currently teaching at Ur School's Gardener campus. Actually, uh, my school, your school project was an extraordinary experience both for us and also for our students too. Uh, we have had nine meetings so far and it was uh, all of them were extraordinary. So um, I and my Melissa, I and my student Melissa, we are in here. We are glad to share our takeaways from our uh, project. So I want to thank uh, our project partner school board and also uh, Ms. Mary Redline and her lovely students for all their precious contributions to our project. Thank you. And we'll turn the program over to Zach. Our students' final project was a website 
Uh, Zach, are you there? <laughs> okay, so this is our project for the My School, Your School Iron Project. Um, I'm Zach from the United States, and I'll be talking about Parkland High School. And I'll also be joined by Melissa from Turkey, and she will talk about uh, Gazimir Uru High School in Turkey. Um, so the first page is just showing, you know, just some links that we have. And first we'll hear from our teachers, which is the first link. That's Or we'll start here. So uh, this is the Parkland High School page. If you scroll down, you can see uh, a video we have. We're not going to be watching it here just because it's a little bit too long for our presentation, but just information that you can access here. If you keep scrolling, you can see uh, a satellite image and you can zoom in and explore the school if you'd like. And at the bottom, there's a picture there and you can click through and there's a bunch of pictures just showing our school and some major highlights of it. Uh, you can see just a satellite image or a swimming pool and just certain features of the school. And then at the top of the page, we have the student list, which is the major part of our project. Um, what the idea was is that we share um, about the students, their picture, and some interests they have, some of, uh, some of the questions they wanted to ask uh, students from a different country. And I think we have about, yep, it just keeps going. We have a, a lot of students from, from our school. And if you would just click on any of the pictures, you can see it, it will take you to a, um, it will take you to a bio about them and you can learn more about them. Okay, so this is one of our students. You can see they talk about something that they are interested in. And then when you scroll down, it also tells, and they also asked about, um, some things they'd like to hear about our partner school. So it's really a good way of just uh, expressing like some interesting things about us and learning more about other people. And that's my page where you can see a little bit, some pictures and uh, learn a little bit. Now, if we just go back to the Parkland High School, yes. And then I can hand it over to Melissa to tell us more about her school. Hello to everyone. I'm Melissa from Turkey. I hope you're all okay and healthy. Um, today, I will give a presentation about my school, Gazimir Ur High Schools. So uh, as you can see, this is the homepage of our school. Uh, this is the location. Uh, you can see it on the Google Maps. Yes, and the down below, uh, there are a few photos of our school. Yes. And if we click on uh, the student list, uh, you'll see uh, the students who attend the project, uh, their names, their photos, a little bit information about them. And if you click on one, uh, you get more info. For example, this is my page. Um, uh, that's my name and the things I want to tell you, uh, my interests and what I like. And down below, uh, there are some questions I wanted to ask. And yes. And if we go on with the presentations web, uh, yes. These are the presentations we made during the project. Uh, and we learn more about our cultures and our countries, like places you should visit in Turkey, um, yes, you can see uh, photos and information. Like sports in Turkey, the Republic of, of Turkey, you can see information about Turkey. Turkish cuisine. Uh, this is the place we live in, Izmir. You can see more information. Yes. And religious and national festivals in Turkey as well. And then for Parkland High School, we also have a presentation page. It shows some similar information, but we don't have to go through all of the slides right now just for time's sake. But um, we also just have some information about our school, our culture, and our, our country. And then we also worked on a collaboration project. Uh, that's a, another link on the side. 
And so this just shows some information about both of the schools and comparing them. Uh, for a lot of the visuals, I'll be, I, um, I used red for Parkland High School in the United States and purple for Gazimu in Turkey. So just keep that in mind when you see them. And you can scroll down. Uh, you can see the school year length and how the differences in like, you know, how long the school year is, um, some of the foreign languages that are taught. And if you keep scrolling, you can see the student count, how many students are in the school, how long the school day is. And then last, we also have some holidays that are observed. Um, we learn about them through the presentations and you can see just some pictures about it. And you can see the red ones are the ones um, celebrated by the United States and purple um, by Turkey. And the uh, labels are at the bottom. <laughs> and then we do have some culture um, polls. These are not finished. Uh, we'll be working on these as the year goes on, but um, those are still a work in progress. And then finally, we also have some meet photos. Uh, that's the last tab on the bottom. And this just gives a good idea of what our presentations were like and what how it was when we were actually working on the project. So you can see just us being able to talk to each other, see each other, and learn uh, more about both of our schools, our culture, and our, our countries. So we're very thankful for this opportunity to showcase our students' work. We learned a lot about ourselves and each other, and we made some wonderful friends that we'll, I'm sure we'll be keeping in touch with long after this project is over. So thank you to everyone. Thank you to my dear colleague in Turkey and all the students who participated. And thank you to IRN for making this opportunity possible. Absolutely, we'll have contact and thank you. Thank you to Ms. Redline and Teşekkürler to Mr. Corbus and their students. And now I will hand it back to my classmate, Marianne, to introduce the final presentation. Next slide. Hello again. Uh, actually, I will be introducing the final project. The Get Rising project journeys around the globe to witness the strength of the human spirit and the power of education to change the world's uh, actual students. The students get to know nine unforgettable girls in different countries which confront and overcome challenges to achieve their dreams. The students view the girls' stories and engage in virtual exchange uh, discussion and also uh, they mm, discuss it and uh, they can discuss the issues related to gender equality and actually the quality of education. Uh, I'm so happy to uh, introduce our teacher, Ms. Abedi. Uh, and actually she's been in IRN for 17 years and we're going to present our project, which is uh, the Gear Rising project. Thanks. Uh, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Marzia Abedi from Iran, Tehran. Uh, Farzanegan 7 High School. Uh, I have been uh, working with my students uh, for iron projects around 17 years. And uh, I'm so happy that iron changed my life and I could try to make the life of my students change. Uh, I have done many projects related to IEARN and uh, our school is so active. Our principal, our educational deputy, they are uh, working a lot to make students involved in this project. And one of the project is Girl Rising Education for All. My creative, nice and very, very uh, good students, Mahsa, Aida, Argavan and Mariam are going to uh, talk about their project. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Mariam, one of the members of the Girl Rising Group. Today we decided to start our presentation with a beautiful song, which is called Spanish Romance. <laughs> Thank you. 
I like that. And also our teammate, Mahsa, uh, actually couldn't be here. We hope that uh, she can join us later. Uh, we're students from uh, Farzang and Seven High School, Tehran, Iran. And now we're going to present our project, which is the Girl Rising Education for All project. Next. Here you can see the list of contents. Actually, first is introduction, activities, cases, the coronavirus impact, which is so important, and what should be done on references. Actually, uh, our project mainly consists of three important parts. The first part is our activities during the semester and uh, how we met our global mates and how we collaborated together. Yeah. The second part is analyzing um, is analyzing uh, the issues that girls mostly face in education and um, actually discuss the matter of education in girls' lives and also uh, in society. And the last part is our solutions and suggestions to these issues and challenges and problems to make it better. Next. Here we can see some of our activities uh, during the semester. We had some meetings which we shared our ideas and plans uh, by video call on Scott. Actually, the next uh, step was um, going to forums, which was so important in our um, actually project. We um, saw the girl rising chapters and then uh, posted our comments in forum, on our earned forum. And actually how it was important, I will tell you, it was important that way that uh, we could post our comments and also we could read others' comments too, which we could get very, very helpful and uh, beneficial actual ideas from them so we could promote our project better. The next part was research, researching the educational challenges that girls mostly face, especially in developing countries. And also we conduct a survey to understand people's, more, uh, people's ideas more better. Here again, you can see our activities. This is a, our survey question. That is, has it ever happened for you that you weren't allowed to do something or participate in a specific program? because of your gender, we will be so glad if you share your experiences with us. Actually, this was so general, but after a while, we just specialized this, so uh, finally we got to education part. Actually, you can see our uh, meetings on Skype and our comments, which we have posted on iron for. Now we'll hand it to my classmates, Aramon, to continue the presentation. Next. Thank you so much, Mariam. Uh, hello. Uh, now I'm gonna tell you about our global exchange. We met Ms. Megan on Girl Rising Instagram page. She's very active in women and girl problem-based projects, such as women who are householders and girls' education problems. And now she's working on re uh, reusable pads for poor people. Uh, she gave us a lot of valuable information in our project. Also, we asked her about girl condition uh, in her country and how to solve girls' problems. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, we also asked these questions from other girls uh, who were from Germany, India, and Nigeria uh, to uh, gain more knowledge recording to girls' uh, international problems. Besides, we had a meeting with another girl raising group uh, that our uh, projects were so similar to each other so we could communicate our project easily and they gave us a lot of good ideas to uh, make our project so much better. Now, we'll hand, uh, now I will hand it to my next friend. Next slide, please. Actually, one of the most important questions is what we're likely to have longer educated and hopefully healthy children will suffer from malnutrition and will have this chance to attend the school. The second is the rates of child marriage. Girls who are better educated are less likely to be married of as children and will have this chance to attend the school and make a better life for themselves and for their families. It increases women's political leadership from community councils to national offices. Girls' education helps give women the uh, skills they need to play leadership roles in public life. Better educated women are more likely to participate in volunteer and elected decision-making bodies at all levels. In this role, some country studies suggest that they are much more likely to serve as advocates for decisions and policies uh, that benefit family and community life, such as I have on short term. Uh, actually, uh, now I'm going to answer this question. Uh, which barriers are uh, girls facing in education? Uh, they are uh, in four parts, uh, geographical, social and cultural and economical. 
uh, I'm gonna uh, say some of the, uh, them to um, give you more information. For example, uh, in social problems, a lack of social uh, security. Uh, girls uh, don't have enough security that they, that they need uh, in the um, society, unfortunately. Or cu uh, cultural, uh, when sometimes girl, uh, girls marry so soon and early ma ma marriage cause a uh, very uh, a bad problem to their education. Or economical is a priority. Uh, uh, poverty that uh, is uh, very bad for uh, both girls and men to uh, pro uh, to uh, become more educated. Um, unfortunately, uh, there are uh, so um, so much uh, trouble making uh, uh, rules in uh, developing countries that uh, cause a lot of problem for different girls. Uh, now I'm gonna uh, hand it to my next friend. Bye. Coronavirus has had an impact on education. During COVID-19, schools have distance learning. There are some students who can afford buying laptops or phones, and because of that, they're left out of the school. But Iranian government has come up with some good solutions. For example, they have a specialized a TV channel for education full-time. Next slide. Uh, what could be done by nations? Offering the scholarships for poor and talented girls and making the schools free. Last slide, please. <laughs> Are good solutions for poverty and rising the level of security, increasing the number of schools, and at last, then making more teachers to traditional origins. But the most important question is what can we do? It's necessary to motivate our girls about education by means of media. We need to make some media products that teach our girls to overcome their barriers and help them understand their right to, to realize their potential fully and inform their families about the importance of education. Next slide, please. Here you can see some of our references that we use to promote our project more better. Thanks for your attention. We are a uh, good rising team from Iran, Tehran, Farzang, and Seven High School. Have a nice time. Goodbye. Thanks. Uh, uh, thank you so much, uh, dear students, Maria, Masa, and Aida, and Algavon. Unfortunately, Masa uh, couldn't. Uh, join i don't know what happened uh, to her mic or webcam uh, thank you so much for uh, giving us this opportunity i am organization i am usa and all participants thank you for your attention have a good day thank you to miss abedi and my classmate for an excellent uh, presentation i will now hand it back to yusuf to bring the exhibition to close Thank you very much, Miriam, and thank you, Ida, and thank you to a huge thank you for the whole class of Girl Rising and from Farzagan 7 High School um, for sharing their incredible projects and making this run so smoothly. I, I'm actually in awe watching this for maybe the fourth or fifth time today um, or for this last couple of weeks, watching all these videos. Thank you very much to all our presenters today for sharing these incredible projects. I mean, going from the wonderful youth uh, for Turkey in the United States, singing, um, music from Miriam, um, and then we go into places and perspectives, these high school students creating websites and um, showing what I earn projects are allowed to do and what they are allowed to do within these amazing projects. So thank you to those educators and especially to your students for motivating them and creating what we hope IRON can do. Thank you very much for joining us and actively participating in the discussion today. Please take our quick survey today on this event here. You can see the link that will be shared in the chat box at this moment. And if you haven't already, we invite you to register to join the IRN community. Please visit us at iron.org slash cc slash connect to learn more information about the IRN community and these amazing projects that we saw examples of today. If you're interested in learning more about IRN and how to join, please visit our website or email us at memberships at us.iron.org. Please, if you're able, 
Please support us as we continue to hold events like this and collaborate with our international network to implement transformative exchange projects by texting Glive, give global to 44321 to receive a link to our latest giving campaign. We will be sending an email to all of you in the next few days with the information we are sharing now. And ask all of our hosts, our presenters, and everyone that was involved in today's show. And look at uh, Ms. Melanie Ranson's class. I see you very much. If you feel free to turn off your mics and um, just say thank you in your own languages. And I just want you to know our whole IRON team, our education team and our VP team appreciate you being here with us today. To all the attendees and all the participants, have a wonderful day. Thank you. 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 Thank you.